Dylan, take us through that last, that last possession and your last shot. Um, before that, you know, Payne with a big shot as well uh, put us even closer, I think, round one. And, you know, Coach, uh, the post called Pop. And, uh, you know, that means, you know, Payne runs to my guy and throws it behind. And, um, you know, I didn't have the first shot. And then, you know, Jordan, very unselfish player, you know, gave, me, gave him up and gave a screen. And then that would be up and, you know, I let, I let it go. And, you know, I was shooting it bad, but I always say to myself, you know, keep shooting it like it's your first shot. And, you know, it felt good, it came off, and, you know, the crowd was going wild before the shot. And, you know, it was, you know, all my teammates uh, thought, it, thought it was going in for sure. So, you know, it felt good. What's it feel like to hit the game winner against number two? Uh, it feels amazing, you know, it just, uh, when you're, you're working on your game every day, and, you know, you just dream of that moment. And, you know, I came true today, and, um, you know, I want more moments like that. I want to get put in, you know, spots in situations like that for my team. Well, obviously a big, you know, slate for today. Number two team, previously undefeated, started Pac-12 play, a lot riding on the line. How do you create that kind of uh, calm mindset heading into today? Um, you know, before we came back on Christmas, you know, we had a, we had a mindset, you know, to free our mind you go home and come back focused. And, you know, in that first practice, everybody was focused on everybody, you know, was focused on UCLA and USC. And, you know, those two practices were great practices. And, uh, you know, we got a lot done. And, you know, it showed on, the, it showed on uh, the floor today, you know, with our defense. And, you know, paying attention to, you know, each one of those players on the court. And we got to keep doing that, you know, every game to, be, to, uh, to defend our title. Did you get tackled down in that corner? Yes, I did. I didn't want to get tackled. I was running away from it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, Jordan just tackled me. You know, he should be a linebacker on Oregon football. <laughs> but, um, you know, it was a great feeling. Peyton, you know about that three that set it up before? It seemed like ball was kind of going around and ended up with you. You looked pretty confident taking that shot. Um, I just, I, I saw him back off and Dylan swung it to me because he didn't, he didn't have the shot right there. There's nine of them. You know, I just kind of just wasn't thinking. I just let it go and uh, went my way. How about the before? You got the ball at the top of the key and you kind of moved your way down and it was a pretty uncontested layup. Um, well, you, you know, they were taking away people like Dylan, Chris, and them all the way. And uh, it really, like, sold the defense out. And then I just had an easy layup. So. Dylan, did that shot feel even better for you with what you've been through the last few weeks through that community and trying to get back in there? Yeah, you know, it felt, it felt really good. Any game winner, you know, feels good. Uh, but, you know, we got to, you know, celebrate for now. And then, you know, we got to move on to US, another undefeated team with USC. You know, talented, athletic, young team. What was the message when they went on that 15-0 run and I think the rep of like eight or, eight or so points in the fall was just going? Um, you know, we still got to keep going, you know, fight. Uh, the coach says every day, 10 up, 10 down, 20 up, 20 down. And um, we got to keep on fighting. And, you know, we did, and we showed a lot of heart. You know, we showed a lot of teams that, you know, they don't want to play Oregon all the time. Because, you know, we're going to fight from 20 minutes to the last 20 minutes. So, um, you know, it's that's Oregon basketball. So is it kind of this waiting of when is that big run? Because they've always had that. Like, every game, they've had that really big run. They've got four wins. It's kind of when they're going to come. Kind of uh, you know, great teams, you know, <coughs> they make runs. And then when other teams, you know, make runs as well, you know, the other team can – Know, fight through it and make another run back. And, you know, we showed that today, and you know, we showed a lot of heart from, from the number one guard to the twelfth guy on the bench. So. You guys talk. You guys talk. About that. Okay. <laughs> what, what was that moment like when the refs were clearing the court and there was, looked like there was a little confusion? Um, I knew. I didn't, I didn't know what was going on at all, but. Uh, if they had the ball, you know, we knew. I knew we had to play another uh, another possession of defense and to seal it. Did, did you think they were waving it off? Did you think they were playing? No, no I knew that. Or? I knew that was off. I, I seen seconds on the clock. And I knew like, you know, there's no question. Dylan, you guys have talked a lot about trying to play a complete game during non-con. This really seemed like the first time you guys were able to put two halves together. How are you guys feeling heading out of that first practice game? Oh, we're feeling good. We, yeah. Now it's now it's um. You know, we know we can do it. As if that we can do it every time, you know. Coach knows we have it, and now we gotta do it every single game. And you know, if you keep doing that, it'll make it make us more consistent, and you know, we'll be a hard team to stop. What was the, the play for the final for your game winner? Was it to, to try and get a three, or was there something that was 
Um, you know, we were we were down once. We didn't need a three. Uh, but you know, before that, when I was on the when I was on the shooting field, I was thinking three because you know Alfred's a great free, free throw shooter. Um, but when we got it, he, he coach called the play, and you know, Payne ran it, and then I never had the first look, and then Jordan set me up for the second one. There was pretty sure he, he is pretty, pretty shocked he missed that first one. I was, I was shocked as well. Right? On the scout report, he's like 90%. Big, you got to give a big thanks to our crowd, too. Yeah. You know, that helps mm -hmm. tremendously. It was like you, Peyton, and uh, that's your first real big crowd in a game winner yeah. like that. Was, were you kind of soaking that up there at the end? Is, oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's like definitely one of the best games I've been a part of. Um, you know, just watching Dylan hit that last shot. When you work as hard as Dylan does, you know, you, great things happen like that. And just to be a part of this team is, you know, I'm very thankful. Dylan, do you feel like part of you guys needed maybe, you know, the non-conference you needed kind of a number two team come in here to, to give you guys kind of your best game? Oh, yeah, you know, that was, that was a game struggling at the beginning of, uh, beginning of the year. You know, with all those talented freshmen and guys coming back, you know, they were going to be a, you know, a good team. And then throughout the season, we've seen that they're number two, and we're just getting hungry for them. And you know, every game is going to be a hunger, every game to win, so we can defend our title. Dylan, did you know that things were going to come together for you? Was it hard to be patient as you sort of worked your way back into the starting line? You know, it was frustrating. You know, especially you know, when you're, as a freshman, you started, and you know, you control, you control a lot of stuff, a lot of things. But you know, my teammates kept me uh, positive. And, you know, coaches kept me positive, especially when I went home, you know, it leveled my head and everything. So, uh, you know, when I came back, it was a clear mind. And, um, you know, I just got to give it to my teammates because they never gave up on me. Dylan, the uh, Maui, the Walton gave you a high five or something. Did you do you anything tonight? After no, I missed him. Yeah, I missed him. <laughs> it was, you know, it was, it was Oregon. It was Oregon's fans time this time. And, uh, you know, I gave, I gave all my heart to, you know, Oregon. And, you know, I'm thankful, you know, I you know I hit that shot and I've been working on that shot. During Don Khan Kane talked a lot about ball movement. You guys have nineteen assists on thirty passes. What what club this time around? Um, you know, we, we, we have trust in our teammates, you know, um, that you know our teammates will make plays, you know. We got a lot of guys that can make plays for each other, make their own play and, you know, with guys trust it. And trusting each other, and we can get 20 assists, 19 assists a game. It's just that, it's just that trust factor, and you know, trusting that when you pass it off, you know, you're going to get it back somehow, somewhere. Hey, do you feel like number two team coming in here is that kind of bring say your best game to team? You feel like that kind of feel like maybe they use that kind of a challenge after the non-conference kind of dragging on? Oh, uh, for sure. Um, you know, us as a group, though, we think we're right there as the top team too. So. UCLA is too, but you know we prepared uh, three days before this. Everything, uh, you know, shoot like shoot around, even get shots. Everything was so focused. And, you know the way we prepared, we knew we were coming. Dylan, defensively, there's a lot of talk about trying to keep up with UCLA on that side just because of their offense. How did you guys feel you did? How do you feel the defense is still looking all over? You know we trusted in the, in the scout report. Um, you know, Alonzo Ball is gonna make plays. Uh, and you know these guys, and the other, the other guys are gonna you know, shoot the ball. I will. And uh, you know we went through our you know our usual you know fake recovers and you know really trying to be a more tougher team and, and guarding and then rebounding. And stretches we did and then stretches we didn't. That's why we lost the lead. But um, you know we just try to plant ourselves into you know defending the ball. Not letting, uh, not letting the ball get in the paint and, uh, you know, contesting every single one of the threes. So when you take a shot like that, do you know in the moment that it's going to be like an iconic shot that people are going to talk about for a long time? Maybe? No. You, you know, a basketball player never knows that until they get old. And, um, you know, uh, shoot, you know, uh, I, uh, I was watching a tweet and, uh, you know, I seen, you know, Aaron Brooks hit a, hit a great shot in, in, uh, in the other court. And you know, it resonated in my mind. And you know, if, um, if I ever get that chance, you know, I want to be saying you what know, happened today. You saw that tweet before or tweet after? Before. After. Before. after. before. You're going to go quick. Anything else for these guys? Ever been a part of a double court court before? 
No, never ever. You know, I've been a part of one with you when we played Utah my freshman year, just one, but you know, this one was special. Thanks, Thank you.